I'm sure by now you've seen many builds from the Corsair 580X to the NZXT to the Thermaltake Core P5 and P3 and finally a Lian Lee Damage 011. So why not build a full PC that isn't like all the other cookie cutter builds like this one from Borrow, a full waterway board. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content. So welcome back to Novice Tech. Uh, so today uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the new um, Borrow waterway, waterway board case. Um, the name of the board is I'm gonna spell it out, R-H-O-P-I-L-E-M-A. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's uh, maybe it's Rofalma, something like that. But if you want a case that's not like the masses, um, like the behind me on my right hand side, the Lee and Lee, um, Dynamic 011, or on to my left hand side, the Core P5. Uh, and you want something different. You want something that looks like everything, like the NZXT cases. So, uh, and you want to look cool. So right here, it's a waterway board. It's a unique board. So I'm gonna show you what's inside and what accessory you need in order to make this a successful build. Uh, so here you go. This is my first time opening it. And also under my description, I will have the links for the board and the accessories. So they come in two colors. Actually, you can get the silver or the black. So I right here, I got the black. Um, this is the waterway board. Actually, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I'm telling you like, this board is gorgeous. So, uh, it says that you can attach the e, uh, ATX board. Um, I'm not sure you do that. I, based on what I'm looking and what I'm seeing, a normal ATX board would be fine, uh, would fit this perfectly. But you try and do uh, um, E-ATX, it'll be a little too big for it. In my, in my opinion though, um, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. So, Right here is the power switch, which is in an, another box. So right here you have the one, uh, one quarter inch uh, thread. Basically what it is is right here, this opening is for your uh, wires and cables and whatnot that goes through it. Um, this board is also LED. If you notice uh, in right in the center, LED strip, which is right here, this wire and LED. Uh, and also right here, right here is your uh, temperature uh, sensor, right here. So it tells you the temperature of the liquid that's flowing inside this waterway board. Okay. So when this arrived, this box will arrive with it too. <clears throat> right here is a power switch that goes into here. It goes into here, the power switch. Okay. And then um, you have the additional cables, um, screws for the motherboard mount. <clears throat> this is a, a solid state hard drive uh, uh, screws. And um, basically this is a, a kickstand. So, so it's hold it, uh, if you wanted to stand it up like this. So basically you put it behind here and it stands up. And it comes with additional, additional screws, additional hex screws for your uh, for your board. Um, it comes with the basic. So you're wondering how do we mount, you know, the how do we mount the res the reservoir, the radiator? Uh, well, there is no reservoir because the whole board is a reservoir. The whole board is a reservoir practically. That's why it's called waterway board. Um, so you're wondering how do you mount the radiator? So you need to get an attachment for that. 
Um, how do you mount the, the DVC? You need a attachment for that. So right here, let me show you. Give me a second. <clears throat> Let me put this aside. Let's not ruin this. Let's not scratch this. Okay, so we got this like that. So right here in this box is your DDC mount, the mount in the back of the case. So right here it comes with some nuts and screws. Let me show you what it looks like, actually. Why am I closing the screen? Okay, this is the, right here. That's it, right there. This small thing is your DDC mount. So, so I'm just give you a heads up. This is a, this is basically a basic build that they have it on the website where you just want to build the way they want to build it. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna use anything fancy or elaborate. What you can do, you can redesign it and have the pump in the front. You know, you can do that too. But you know, I want it to look nice and clean, so I want to do like, you know, what they, how they, how they show you on the website. And this right here is the borrow DDC pump. My first time seeing this. It's the silver one. It borrowed DDC pump. Has a Molex connector. It has a uh, speed control right here. So it's pretty neat. I don't know. I don't know what theme I'm gonna do this. Uh, you know, color theme or scheme. I might do this yet. Um, honestly, this looks like to me an Iron Man build color theme. So maybe gold and red. And third, the third one you need is um, the extension cable for your uh, PCI Express slot, right here. And then uh, this is your, uh, it's a, I guess it's a vertical mount because mount vertically, yeah, I guess it's a vertical mount, but this is, um, this is a vertical mount uh, for your, um, for your GPU. Pretty nice, really good material. Probably pretty heavy after you built this though, I bet. Uh, yeah, it gives you everything you need for the GPU. Uh, vertical mount, again, more hex screws. This too, it's a 240 radiator mount. It's not a radiator. <laughs> it's a 240 radiator mount. So I'm just open one of the boxes to show you what it looks like. Such a big box. That's it. It will be mounted in the back of your uh, waterway board case. And also comes with more screws. <clears throat> so right here is the Besky uh, 240 radiator. I really like Besky because one, they're affordable. They're not expensive. They're 30 bucks a piece or is it 20? I don't remember now, but they're fairly cheap. So you get $60 for, for, uh, $60 for 2240 radiator. You can't beat that. It's a good price. Um, especially, uh, especially it's made of copper. So I like 240s. I like uh, thin uh, 20 millimeter radiator. So this, this is what I like. It's from Besky. Come with also uh, screws. <clears throat> Can't beat this price. 
like I said, I'm probably gonna paint this. Uh, I'm thinking about Iron Man color now. So red and red and gold. This maybe it will be gold. So there you have it. Uh, this is the Barrow Waterway board case. Name is Rofumida, whatever. I can't pronounce it. I don't think I, I never heard anybody pronounce it. So, so there you have it. This is the Barrow Waterway board case. And just another reminder, please support my channel by subscribing and clicking the alarm button.